Hello and welcome back to Astroprinter. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about um, Tinkercad. A lot of people like to use Tinkercad to make shapes and so on, but there are limitations to what Tinkercad can do. And one of the ones that annoys people, I believe, the most is how to get a nice, smooth, curved surface. Let's say you want to build something and it involves a cylinder or a sphere or a, or a cone shape. All of these, while you can bring them into Tinkercad, uh, the, there's one issue with them. So we just take a cylinder as an example. And I'm going to size a cylinder up to make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. So it's at a 60 by 60. So we have a nice large cylinder. Now what's wrong with this? When it was small it looked fine. But when, it was, when I've sized it up, a problem occurs. I get flat surfaces. It's no longer a curve. And if I make it bigger, the flat surfaces stay the same, they just get larger and larger and larger. And if I change the height of my cylinder, it even looks worse. So, how am I going to fix this? Well, there's a few little tricks. First of all, I want to resize this back to 60 by 60. And there's a reason why I'm doing 60 by 60, because 60 divides into 360 nice and evenly you get six sorry you get six degrees of a circle you could improve this because the number of sides by default is set to 20. i can give it more sides and as i give it more sides it does smoothen it out somewhat but the highest i can go to 64. so that still leaves flat surfaces if you look at it you can actually see the flat edges right here and that does not lead to a nice smooth surface, a nice smooth circle. So how am I going to cure this? Well, the way to get this smoother is to have more flat surfaces. I'm going to leave this as, I'm going to change this color to yellow. Nice bright color. And I'm going to duplicate it. And the duplicate is going to be colored red. So we turn around and we'll rotate the object by three degrees. Now what I got is double the amount of flat surfaces. Now let's say I take that and I group it. If I zoom in now, there is still flat surfaces there. So how do I fix that again? So since I, I want to get a little bit smoother, so let's say I take that flat surface again, and since I went to three degrees last time, which is half a six, let's go half a six again. So I'm going to duplicate. The duplicate's going to be, uh, let's say, pink, and I'm going to rotate that from three degrees to 1.5. Now, I've doubled them again. So now I actually have a, so it's a smoother curve. So let's take it one step further again. Let's select it all and group them. Since it was at 1.5, now I want to do it again to get an even smoother surface. So I'm going to duplicate, rotate by 0.75, which is half of 1.5. And let's change the color from that color to, let's say, a blue. Now, if I zoom in, I have a lot, of sm a lot smaller little flat surfaces. And I'm smoothing out my edge. Let's say I want to go one more. Because you can't go much more to your head. It's, it's, a, it's ability to, to rotate is very small. So let's select it all again. And we merge it into one part and let's say we change this color to red and I'm going to duplicate it and the duplicate color is going to be another bright color let's say again yellow and the last time I rotated by 0.75 so this time I'm going to rotate it by 0.375 now Cura won't do that it's too small it will not do a 0.375 it's too small a maneuver for Tinkercad, but it did do it 2.38, which is close enough. So once again, 
I'm going to zoom in and I have an awful lot more tiny little parts. You can see here really small sur flat surfaces. So I'm ridging in it, but it's, it's small and it's, it's more acceptable than what I was having previously. So if I take that part and I can make it a solid again by selecting it all, if I want to, and group it. Now I have a much smoother surface. And if I change it to a slightly darker color, let's say dark green, tilt, and then zoom in, you can still see some slight lining, but it's very light, it's very slight, and it's a much finer surface. So I've just made a smoother circle. Now, I want to use this in the future. I don't want to depend on having to go through this process over and over again. So when you have an accountant in Tinkercad, there's a nice little feature in there where you can go to, go to your shapes. Actually, first of all, select all and go to your shapes. And scroll down to part collection. And on part collections, you create part. So you're creating a part that's specific for you. So you call it Call a smooth cylinder. I can do settings, I can change its color if I want to do it here, I can do it to whatever I want. I can do it on a multicolor device if I want to. Let's say we'll just do red for now. I can do custom colors if I want, but the color doesn't really matter, I can always change that. And do save part. Now my part is saved. In so when I go to the Tinkercad again and I go to my favorites or my part collection my smooth cylinder is there and I can always use it in the future when I'm building. So with a bit of planning you can actually pre-build certain shapes that you're struggling with to smoothen your surface by doing something like this. And if you apply a little bit of logic to what you're doing you can actually make it work to get a nicer smoother outcome. So I'm actually going to save this out. It's red. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to actually load the red one. I can delete this because I don't because I actually have my specific part. And I bring over my nice smooth cylinder and I'm going to export it as a STL file and I'm going to bring it to Cura so you can see what it looks like. So I did one earlier on and I deleted it so I'm going to use this one but I wanted to go through the process with you and let's switch over to Cura and I'm going to import a part in Cura from my downloads. So I'll go to my we download, make smooth circle one, which is the one I just created, import it, and now when I zoom in, I have a far smoother circle or cylinder than I had before. And as you size up, obviously there's going to be some more flat surfaces that are going to show up, but for the majority of places, uh, for the majority of uses, if you do need to really make it sized up, even at the number of flat surfaces we've added, it still holds up pretty well. So there's an easy way of really leveraging Tinkercad with a bit of forethought to get a nice output smooth surface, whereas natively within the product as it stands, it doesn't give that, but you can play around with some things and actually improve them and then save them as usable um, shapes later on to optimize your surface finish rather than having all of these flat sides coming out of circles and uh, spheres and cones. Well, I hope you found it interesting. If you did, please click on the subscribe link below. And also in the description, you will find the link to my Patreon page. Uh, your contributions on Patreon will actually help me uh, continue to offer such tutorials and education to help people with their 3D printing and maybe even some designing and to optimize the tools that are available to them. Thank you and keep printing.